Hi, my name's Lynn Tran, and I'm in the Music History 2 class in the Recording Arts Bachelor's Program. And I'm going to talk to you about the influence that the Beatles' Revolver ha album has had on, on music and bands of today. And with this album, the Beatles took a lot of risks. Um, I'm not, I have to say I'm not the biggest Beatles fan, but... I, I do generally uh, gen, genuinely like this album because you can tell they took risks and it's it's different. Not all the songs sound the same. It's not one of those albums where you can tell like, oh, this is gonna be definitely gonna be a radio hit, and, or this is definitely a sing uh, one of a, a song that they can make a single out of. Um, it's, like, there's, like, a song for everyone, really, on this album. It's songs for someone who's out there, and there's, like, more poppy ones. Um, it's, it's still the Beatles, but it's the Beatles a lot more matured from where they started, where they had matching suits, and they were in the whole Beatlemania craze. And you can, like, with songs like Eleanor Rigby in the beginning, where you hear that distinct violin sound, um, like, for example. Uh, look at all the Even though when the music starts, um, the singing starts pretty much at the same time, you can s s the violin comes out very distinctly and you can hear it very well over the singing, which kind of, you can tell, definitely tell the influence in Coldplay's Viva La Vida intro, uh, for example. Even though mm, there's like a 10 second intro before the lyrics start, you can hear that distinct sound of what I hear as a violin too. And it, it's you can he definitely hear the influence. And uh, like also with this album, <clears throat> you can you can hear the in influence of like of just the time off that they had before that they made this album with the different um with the different uh with the different instruments that they used <clears throat> like the indian music influence that you can definitely hear on love you too You can hear a sitar and other, and just even from like the, uh, that first 15 seconds, you can hear that uh, the sitar, like I said, and just the Indian influence. It's definitely not something you'd hear back when the, the whole Beatlemania craze was going on. You can tell they took. Uh, you can tell they took the, their time, and it was more about them than what other people wanted. Um, you can tell they, they did it for the music, the musicality, and not just to, like, please the record companies, I guess. Which is, I don't know, why I like, why I actually like this album. So, but yeah, that's my podcast.